Hi, this is Glow Empress, and today we're going to be speaking about Black is King, a film by Beyonce. And we're going to be diving into the African esoteric symbolism within this film. Yemeya. Yemeya is the river goddess of the Yoruba Nigeria. She is the star. Her number is seven and she loves pearls. Her day is Saturday. Yemeya is said to have traveled from Yoruba to the New World during the slave trade, providing comfort to the slaves. As you can see from these clips, Beyonce portrays Yemeya, especially in her song, Water. It is literally a song to Yemeya. Hathor. She is an Egyptian goddess who is known as the cow goddess. She's also the sky goddess, known to hold up the heavens. She wears a headdress with a sun disc and two horns that is encircled by a divine serpent between the horns. The cow also appears and tells you to trust that the mighty storm will pass and you will be okay. Oya. Oya is the spirit of the Niger River. Her symbol is the lightning bolt and her number is nine. Oya loves copper and her day is Thursday. Her home is the island of Jeba in the river, and that is her sacred, humble abode. She rules the marketplace, and she also rules the cemetery. You see Cholo. The Osi Cholo plays an important role in ceremonies, especially coming of age and marriage ceremonies. This headdress is worn on a daily basis after marriage to signify the married status. It is typically and always worn by women. The Crescent Moon. The Crescent Moon is the sign of fertility related to life and death. It symbolizes the moon's connection to the menstrual cycle. It is the energy of the divine feminine and it symbolizes transformation and rebirth. The Zulu symbol for understanding. This symbol shows up heavy through this film, symbolizing divine understanding. And I'm guessing of this lesson that Beyonce is trying to teach the Moorish people. The Zulu Ngoma dance is a coming of age dance done by both male and female, mainly males. This dance contains large and high steps and jumps that are made rhythmically pounding on the ground. Osumare, the guardian and protector over children. He's the cord to a link between the world of the living and the world of the ancestors. He represents the rainbow serpent 
and controls movement, change, and mobility. Oshun. She is the pot of river water. This shows her powerful healing abilities. She is a peacock and her number is five. Oshun loves amber and her day is Friday. The leopard symbolism. The leopard is the king of the jungle. In the early Egyptian days, leopard skin was worn by priests during ceremonies. It was also worn by Oba, the king of Benin. It is a sign of triumph, kingship, and royalty. It is seen as a form of spiritual protection if given as a gift. Iced out teeth. The earliest form of dentistry dates back to the Edwin Smith Papyrus from the 17th century BC. It shows gold wire used to stabilize loose teeth and various other dentistry artwork. Mansa Musa, the 10th Musa to conquer the Islamic Mali Empire. He made pilgrimage during 1324 to 1325 BC. He brought along 60,000 men and an endless supply of gold. Duality. The mosaic pavement, as shown in the video, represents order. It is a symbol of duality, represent good and evil. It can be associated with the yin and the yang symbols. It is also associated with the cosmic bodies such as the sun and the moon and the divine masculine and the divine feminine. Ogun. When you touch metal, you touch Ogun. His symbol is the machete. His number is three and seven and his day is Wednesday. The Moorish flag. The Moorish flag represents the sovereign citizen movement. This flag is over 10,000 years old. It is red with a five-pointed star in the center of it. Each point on the star symbolizes something. One symbolizes love, the other truth, the next freedom, and the last one justice. Beyonce makes reference to the Nile and Moses being in the basket. This is a story in the Bible about Moses being placed into a papyrus basket in order to be protected from the wrath of the storm that was coming. The Omo tribe body art. This tribe is located in the lower Omo Valley in southwest Ethiopia. They do body painting and it comes from the cradle of humanity. These body paintings are used for coming of age ceremonies and ceremonies in general. Obatala and Oludomore. 
Olu de More. Olu de More is the supreme being. He is the divine omnipotence. Obatala. Obatala is the father of humanity. He is the source of wisdom, peace, and compassion. And he represents two paths, the masculine and the feminine. The Himba tribe. They are a group of people who coat their bodies in red clay as a form of art and beauty. They are people from the northern area of Nambia in the Kanane region located in Kuakua land. The Maasai Adumu dance. This is a traditional dance. It is a jump dance. The body stay narrow and the feet should not touch the ground. The higher the jump, the stronger the guy. <laughs>